I'm out here at the Signal Stuff booth here at Dayton Hamvention, and today I'm speaking with Richard from Signal Stuff, and he's showing me some of the Signal Stuff antennas that they have out here at Dayton. Stick around, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm Richard Bateman, KD7 BBC. I am the owner of Signal Stuff, which owns both ham study and exam tools. Well, Signal Stuff exists in order to support ham study and exam tools. So when people ask me what I have, I prefer to start a little bit sooner so that I talk about why we do it, because I think that's more relevant. I am a software engineer uh, with a background in amateur radio. I've been a VE for a long time. And so I built ham study and exam tools out of basically out of frustration and kind of self-defense with the existing tools that were available at the time. Now I got my license, you know, 20 years ago or so. So it's been a few years since then. And there are some other great things, but my focus was to use technology in order to solve some of the problems that I saw. However, obviously that's not free. And so kind of along the line, as I was doing that, I ended up taking over a fundraiser from an Explorer Post group that I used to be in, and that's what turned into the signal sticks. Is originally we used to make them out of piano wire antenna, and then I just kind of progressively, incrementally improved them a little bit at a time, and never really spending a ton of time on it, never really trying to, to create an antenna company. Uh, but over the years, we've made so many changes to it, uh, it's, it's turned into actually quite a significantly, you know, player in the industry, which still kind of baffles me sometimes. These are literally things that we build in our garage, in my garage at home. So a few years ago, just after COVID started, we added the uh, different colors here, which is just different colored heat shrink, you know, it's fun. Uh, just to really be crazy, we even added this glow in the dark antenna. Obviously that has no beneficial impact on the antenna itself. I like to tell people that it has increased emissions on the visible spectrum during periods of low illumination and then watch how long it takes them to figure out that I just told them that it glows in the dark in a different way. It's been surprising to me, honestly, because I'm, I'm a little bit more of a pragmatist myself, how much people have enjoyed the different colors. Uh, so it's just been a lot of fun. And then over time, people ask for things, and some of them I say, no, I'm not doing that because my main focus is ham study and exam tools. And if it's taking time away from that, it's not worth doing. It's defeating the purpose. But when I find a way to do that, we start adding them in. So we have a couple of NMO mount antennas. We have this open stuff J-pole, and this is just built on a classic design. I think Arrow are the ones who came up with it originally. But the cool thing about that one is that it was made by a machinist who lives in uh, just in, the, in my hometown, Orem, Utah. Uh, his name's Stan, and he's also a gunsmith. And so he built these to the same length that uh, some of his cleaning equipment is, if I remember correctly. Um, but this is, it collapses really, really small, but then it expands to be a full, uh, full open stub J-pole with dual band, two meter, 70 centimeter, and you can just mount it on any camera tripod. We also have a, a mass mount adapter bracket, but these are, you know, really cool stuff. And then we have a ton of different adapters, well, eight different adapters now, which are all just things that, as I saw, this is something that a lot of people who use my antennas need. <clears throat> and I didn't like the offerings or I just wanted to be able to sell them myself. And so we've just added a, a few. I actually have two here that are so new, they're not on the website yet. Um, and this is a, a PL259 to BNC that you can use to make it so that the BNC mag mount, which is another relatively recent product, can be used with a, uh, a mobile radio. Uh, because some people don't know, the signal stick can actually handle a lot of power. It can handle up to 100 watts, uh, at least if it's not full duty cycle. 50 watts, really, I've never seen a problem at all. And then this one is just so you can connect your existing uh, coax that might have a, a PL259 on it to one of our other adapters. So I don't know if it's worth trying to do any kind of a close up on these, but uh, still black like I've been doing with most of mine. The BNC has our, our rubber cover on it that just makes it a little bit nicer. Uh, so it's, it's kind of funny because none of this is really anything that I spent a lot of engineering time on. My, my primary focus has always been the software. So my joke is sort of that I, I accidentally built a 
successful antenna company while I was trying to do to build software. I mean, I'm a, I'm a professional software engineer, and at this point, most of my income, I've actually been able to drop my previous job to part-time, and uh, most of my income comes from selling antennas. What I usually tell people is that this is the super elastic signal stick, and they are, and it usually works better than that, but it is super elastic. Now, if you leave it coiled for long enough, uh, kind of the tighter it's coiled and the longer you leave it, it will eventually start to uh, develop a curve. Um, that one, it's probably actually going to straighten out a little bit, but it is a tiny bit of a curve after that um, because I did it so tight. But these are, you know, but even still, still straight, very, very hard to, uh, to, to really break. They do break, you know, I've seen these snap off and occasionally I've seen the adhesive fail and we replace those, but it is a lifetime warranty. So if that happens, we will replace them for free. The BNC mag mount, all it is, it's a magnetic mount that has a BNC on both sides. And so you just put a BNC signal stick on it. It's not gonna hold up as well uh, in outdoors as you know a real mobile antenna would, but it's probably the fastest grab and go option uh, that's even available on the market because you know people like to put the their uh, BNC adapter onto a radio and if you've got that on there and then you've got your uh, got your antenna on so you go to get in the car you just pop it right off the radio and put it onto the mag mount and then the mag mount other side of the cable just plugs right back into the radio and you're good to go um, and so it's it's just a really nice low cost option that makes the most of the, the stuff that you've already got. So the NMO mounts, uh, to be honest, I was actually skeptical that these would work well. Uh, it's, it's a thicker night null. I expected it to oscillate too much, um, but it, they actually hold up pretty well. So this one's the half wave, uh, which is it's just a fairly typical half wave antenna, except that it is made with super elastic night null, just like the signal sticks. It's a thicker night null. Um, and then we've also got a quarter wave, which is over on the other side, which is just a standard 19 inch, you know, quarter wave, two meter antenna, 70 centimeter by nature of it being a three quarter wavelength. Um, that one can handle a lot more power. I think we calculated something like 200 watts because it's a very simple design. The half wave is limited to 50 watts because it's got some parts inside that with too much power, they'll burn out.